Good evening, TMTWC. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Thank God for another day. Yes. And I tell you, man, I don't know what to say about this weather mm. in Raleigh, North Carolina. Mm. Well, what, two days ago, it was high 60s. Mm -hmm. Five days ago, we had snow, and today it's cold again. Mm. And next week, it's supposed to be in the high 60s and 70s. Mm. Only, as my brother says, in North Kakalaki yeah. can this happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, man, I tell you, man, my spirit has just been right all day long, man. I had such a good praise and worship this morning. I uh, got up and uh, read my word and um, took uh, my son to work and came back home, got ready for work, and just God just showed up. And my uh, praise and worship this morning. And in all day, it's just been a consistent peace. Awesome. And I just thank God for that, man. I, I thank God for as much craziness as going on in this world. It's good that you can get in your secret place and call on your heavenly father and settle in his peace. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Glory God. So we're just excited to be here this evening. We thank those that have come out and uh, joined us here. And then we also thank God for our Facebook family uh, who is joining us as well. So we're going to get the service this evening kicked off um, with a song of preparation to kind of set the atmosphere. Uh, but before that, let's just have a word of prayer. Uh, Father, we just thank you. Lord, we acknowledge you for your presence on this evening. We thank you, God, that you shine your face on this ministry and you see fit to show up and, and show out and just have your way and do what you do in this ministry. Lord, allow your presence to continue to manifest itself. Lord, allow your glory to rest in this house. And Father, send your angels that they may be able to stir up the atmosphere in this place to make it conducive for praise, and for worship. God, we love you. Lord, we thank you. God, we ask that you would continue to just speak tonight, Father. Have your way. Do what you want to do. I know what you have me to do, Father, but if you want to change the script, hallelujah, hallelujah, have your way. God, we love you. We thank you, and we honor you for all you are and all you do. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray. And everybody said, amen, amen, amen. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and go into a, a song of preparation. This is not our music. This is not our music. Hallelujah.
Somebody's testimony tonight. Do it, Lord. Hallelujah. But see, you, you just can't stop the song right there. She said, do it, Lord. Let your will, good God Almighty, your will be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, a lot of us want God to do it, but we want God to do it our way. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But how many know when you do it his way, the end result is much better than going your way. Because, it, you know, what I've learned in life, that when we do it our way, it's a much longer path. We get all distracted. We get all messed up because of our feelings and emotions and distracted here, there, and everywhere. But boy, let me tell you, good God Almighty, when you do it God's way. And you know what? My wife and I was talking about, it's just so amazing. And we're going to talk about one of these tonight. But it's just so amazing how God still loves us, still provides for us, still shows mercy and grace in spite of us, in spite of how nasty we can be sometimes, in spite of how 
we can be so ugly towards people sometimes, in spite of how selfish we can be sometimes, in, in spite of the thoughts we have and the things we do, God still loves us and keeps us and provides for us in spite of us. My God. And boy, when, when you think about that, when you think about the way you are and all that you deserve, not that you think you deserve, but that you really deserve for the actions that you've taken since you've walked this earth. My God, say that. If you think about even as corrupt and filthy rags that we are he's good God Almighty he still loves you still takes care of you still has you 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 get breath in your body you you you've woke up in your right mind and let me tell you I meet people every day that are going through some very serious health concerns. And I know there's somebody listening now that's saying, well, you, well, Pastor, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I deal with. And, and, and I get it. But let me tell you, there is always somebody who would love to be in your shoes, who would love to have your testimony. There's always somebody else. I, I was listening to, to Bishop T.D. Jakes, and he was saying, everybody in here, you are rich to somebody. Everybody. Everybody gets somebody that looks at you like, wow, they got it going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Those that they're looking at, they're telling themselves, I need more. I need this. I need, and, and, and that's the, the one thing about this world, man, to being caught up in this world and not in the word. The world makes you think you always need more. I, I got to have a bigger house. I got to have a big, better job. I, I got to get this other position. I, I got to do this. I got to, I got to, got to. And most of the time, with all them I got us, we ain't not said not one time, Father, is, is this your will? Good God Almighty. Father, is, is it your will that, that I have this car? Is it your will that I get this job? Is it your will that, that even if you want me to eat this or, or eat that or, 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 or buy these clothes, is it your will? Beloved, we, 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 we got to get away from cliches in life and just saying stuff to say it and get to this word and put God's will for it. Let me tell you, let me tell you this. When you are sincere in seeking God and you really want his will to be done, beloved, let me tell you, Ain't nowhere you can run. Ain't nowhere you can hide. It's, it's like God, ha it's like you put in the GPS, Father, your will be done. That's where I want to go. And you put that in the GPS. And you're, you're, you're listening and heading to God. And even when you get off the track, when, when you want God's will to be done, he has a way of saying, let me redirect you. I, I see you going this way, but but I, I need to re, re reassess what you're doing. And I know you're going that way. I want you to go here, so we're going to take some turns for you. But he's still in control. And let me tell you, and, 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 and see, I can testify about that. See, I have been in the insurance industry for 10 years, and I didn't want it. I, well, I, I got tired, I, 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 got, uh, I saw things that I wanted, 
I stepped out and tried to do other things, but for some reason, God had a way of bringing me right back. Even when I justified, and I'm a salesman now. Y'all see my wife. I'm, I'm a salesman. I, I, I can sell it. I, I can sell it. Let me tell you, I make anything sound good. And I justified different jobs that I had and, and, and why I had them. And, and it sounded good, God Almighty. It sounded good. But see, I forget. I had already got on my knees and I had prayed to Father, your will be done. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, and then even when my blessing came and I didn't even know it was my blessing, I ran away from it. I didn't want it. I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. But God got away. Say that. When you get on your knees, hallelujah, I'm talking to somebody tonight, and you sincerely from the depths of your heart cry out to God for his will, good God Almighty, to be done in your life. Let me tell you, you're going to go through some things. See, you, you, you got to go through your wilderness experience. You got to go through temptation. You got to go through your cross experience. But beloved, let me tell you, there is a resurrection. You keep believing. You keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep trusting God. You keep walking by faith. Not by sight. You hold on to this word and not what this world is telling you. And I promise you, good God Almighty, he is no shorter, hallelujah, than his word. I remember just last week, Brother Ron, and I, some of you guys have met Brother Ron. Um, he was going through some things, you know, on a job and you know, getting turned down here and there. And and the one job that he had gotten, they were paying him more money. And then they told him one day, don't come in. We, we got too many people. And he called some other friends. Well, ain't nobody else. They ain't told nobody else not to come. Why are they telling me not to come? And we talked, and I was like, Brother Rod, you got to trust God, man. He ain't brought you this far to leave you. You trust him. You walk by faith. You keep your eyes on him. Don't you get caught up in all this other mess. He went out, put in some other applications, had another job calling. That same day, the job he had that they told him not to come in, they called him back and gave him more money. Good God Almighty. Then they had him at when he started with them. Now you tell me, see, that, that, see, sometimes, beloved, God puts you through a test to test your faith. Just, just to see, uh, is he going to believe what I told him? Is he going to believe the word I gave him? Is, is she going to trust me? Even though I took that job away, is she going to trust to know that I'm still God? God. That, that I'm still on the throne? E even when you, you don't feel like it? Even though where, where everything around you is falling apart? Is, is she going to still trust me? Knowing that, that I'm God. And, and that I'm still on the throne and don't nothing happen. Unless it come through me. See, beloved, you see, this walk with Christ is more than just coming to church. This walk with Christ is more than just preaching a, a, a word. It's more than just singing a song than ushering and than feeding the sick. This, this walk with Christ is a daily walk. Hour by hour, second by minute. Today, I'm feeling good. I, I was in the spirit. I had peace all around me today, but tomorrow is coming. 
So, 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 so the same God that I worship today, the same God that I praise, the same God that, that I lifted up today, hallelujah, hallelujah, when tomorrow morning come, I got to get up and, and give that same God praise. No matter what I see or feel. I got to give that same God that's sitting on the same throne that gave us the same Jesus and the same Holy Spirit. Good God Almighty. I got to trust him, y'all. You got to trust him. You got to trust him. Hallelujah for who he is. Glory God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Boy, that was a good word right there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, beloved, we are going to continue uh, this evening's Bible study in the attributes, the attributes of God. And if you've been following us, um, you know we've gone over uh, six of the attributes of God. And uh, tonight... We're going to go, and I know I won't get to both of them, so we're just going to go over one, uh, and that attribute, and, 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 and you know, you, it's like you can't say one without the other one. We, we're going to go through grace and mercy. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Grace and mercy. And tonight, beloved, for the sake of time, we're going to talk about mercy. Oh my mercy. Hallelujah. An attribute of God. So, beloved, mercy is when that which is deserved, good God Almighty, is withheld to the benefit of the object of the mercy. That means mercy is when you are supposed to get something and you're supposed to be punished, you're, you're, suppo you're, you're due punishment. But, but, but God doesn't give you what you deserve. He offers you in love what he wants to show you. You, you, you know, it's like what we were talking about earlier. You know, we go through life and we, you know, we, we've given our life to Christ. We've confessed with our mouth and we believe in our heart the Lord Jesus. And we are saved. But beloved, your soul, your spirit man, your spirit is saved. Your flesh and your body will never be saved. So, beloved, we have to fight daily. Daily, we have to fight these thoughts. Daily, we have to fight what's in our hearts. Because, beloved, each and every one of us do things that we deserve death. We deserve to be bankrupt. We deserve to be living under a highway somewhere because of thoughts we have and, and things we do. But it is his mercy. And, and, and beloved, we don't get his mercy because of how good we've been at some point in our life. His mercy comes because of his son, Jesus. The only way we have his mercy is because of what his son did for us. See, God has demonstrated this attribute in abundance with respect to mankind. We from nearly the beginning of our existence has deserved nothing but wrath. Having sinned and fallen short of eternal life and glory, we can do nothing to command ourselves. 
So, beloved, it's nothing. You can't be good enough. You can't give enough to the poor. You can't preach enough. You can't sing enough. Ain't nothing you can do that's good enough to good God Almighty to deserve the mercy that we get from God. Psalms 6 and 4 says, Return, O Lord, Deliverer. O save me for your mercy's sake. Romans 3 and 20. Where am I? Okay. Uh, Hebrews 4 and 16. Hebrews 4 and 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time I need. Good God Almighty. Oh God. Ephesians 2 and 4 says, God who is rich in mercy. Titus 3 and 5. I think this is one of my favorite ones about mercy. Titus 3 and 5 says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us through the washing of regeneration and a renewing of the Holy Spirit. It is only through his mercy that we are saved. By grace, not by works. That any man may boast. See, I, I, I can't sit here and, and say, oh, I'm a pastor and I'm saved and I, I do these great things and I do all these things. It's all about me. No, no. It's, it's only by his grace and in his mercy that I'm saved. That I'm able to do what I do. That I'm even able to give him praise and to thank him. And even to have a mind. Good God Almighty. Beloved, you need to thank him for even having a mind my God, my God. to praise him and to thank him. Because I'm going to tell you, beloved, there's a lot of people who have been beat up so much by this world that they've just given up on God. That they've just said, you know what? All I've gone through and all that I've had to deal with, there cannot be a God. So I'm just going to go on out and sin and do what I want to do. That's what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. You know, me, my wife and I, we, we, we watch TV and it's, you know, it's so it's so subtle how the media just incorporates homosexuality in the media. It's, it's just so subtle. We were watching a show, and I forget the name of the show, but it was a transvestite, and he, he I guess he was a woman, <laughs> and, and now, yeah, he's a man, and he's built, you know, built, and he was out one day, and he had saved a lady, and she liked him, and they started dating, and he told her, you know, what he was, and, you know, she just came back, was like, listen, you know, I respect who you are and what you're about, but, you know, it's that's just hard for me to deal with, you know, I, I, I like you as a friend, and, you know, let's go on, and then... Once he got back to work, these two guys that were gay came and got him, and they went out and partied at some club full of everything, transvest everything, and it was it just it just seemed so normal. It just seemed like hey, that's just how that's just life. That's that's. We, we, we are accepting of this. This, this, is, this is fine. Everybody is wonderful. We're, we're all from God loves us all. 
Let me tell you, beloved, God loves everybody. But beloved, let me tell you this. We serve a just God. We serve a just God who, 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 who can't go back on his word. That, that for, for, for me to, and, and guess what? He loves the sinner. He, he loves the homosexual, the transvestite, the, the gay, the left. He, he loves you. He loves you. But he hates the sin. He, he, he hates the sin. That, that would be, that was just like me. Let me, let me talk about me for a little bit. When I was caught up in pornography and, 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 and looking at it and, and, and caught up in it and, and allowing it to control my life, he still loved me. He still cared for me. But if I hadn't have changed, beloved, let me tell you, if I hadn't have changed, if I don't fight that spirit, if I don't come against my flesh, I'm going to a burning hell just like the transvestite. He, he still loves me. He still cares for me. He, he'll still provide, but the whole while, he, he's wooing me, letting me know what you're doing. It's going against my word. I, I love you. I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to take care of you. But, but what you're doing can't be accepted in my kingdom. And, and, and I want you to come with me. My, my son told you he, he's going to prepare a place for you. But, but the Bible says that, that there's certain things that will not enter in, hallelujah, the kingdom of heaven. So, so, so beloved, I, I, I love the transvestite. I, I love the gay. I, I, I love all of the, the and I, LB. That I, I love the community. But one thing that I will never, and if I won't do it in my life, good God Almighty, I, I, I can't be a hypocrite, good God Almighty, and, and do it in your life if, 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 I, if I'm against the sin in, in my own life. And, and, and even when, when I was caught up in it, I, I still loved myself. I still trusted God and, and I still prayed and, and was still coming to church. But beloved, there, there's, there's a constant battle between the, the flesh and the spirit. And beloved, we, we've gotten too comfortable with, with accepting things in the flesh. God still loves you. I still love you. But you must repent. And, 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 and repent means turn from your ways and follow Christ. You, you must seek forgiveness. You, you, you can't get comfortable in, in the yearnings and desires of your flesh. Yeah, God loves you. He's going to take care of you. He's going to look out for you. Why? Because of his grace. 
and his mercy. But beloved, let me tell you, he's just. He's the, the Bible says he's a righteous judge. And see, we 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 want to always talk about how wonderful and beautiful God is, and He's He's so loving and caring, and, and His heart just He 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 loves us all. Yes, He does. He does love all. But he's also a judge. He's also righteous. He also stands in justice. And, and, he, and he don't cut God Almighty. His, his, his word says in Revelations that you cannot be hot. You, you either got to be hot or cold. You, 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 can't, you can't straddle the fence. I, I, I couldn't serve pornography and, and still go to church and, and preach and, and serve God and think I'm going to get in. I can't do it. And, 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 and beloved, if, if, if I know, good God, if I know I can't do it, then, beloved, I can love you, but I cannot accept the lifestyle of sin that you have allowed your flesh to take over your spirit, man, and be led by the flesh opposed to the spirit that 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 would be just like i'm married to lady monica and i have my two side pieces sitting lady monica sitting on the front row on the left and my other two sides sitting on the front row on the right <laughs> lady monica said that ain't happening <laughs> That 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 that's what that would be like, and, and it would be it would be like, hey, I want you to accept this. You know, they had multiple women in the Old Testament, and and I'm just walking in the heritage that I have from the Old Testament. No, what I'm doing is I'm justifying my flesh. So, beloved, know this. Today, God is merciful. Today, God is full of grace. Today, God is full of love and forgiveness. But, beloved, there will come a day when we will see God as the joy. That will, will, will judge you on your choices. And beloved, he not, he not judging you on what you say. He ain't judging you on what you do. He's judging you from what's in your heart. And, and, and beloved, if you're out there and you got a struggle with him, and, and, and you need, and, and you're, you're crying out. You, you've been accepted by this community and by the world and, and everything that the world is doing to accept this lifestyle. But you know within the depths of your heart that it's not right. It may feel good. To the flesh. Pornography felt good to my flesh. But beloved, once I watched it, I, I, I hated myself. I, I would cry. I would get so mad. Why? Because this flesh, let me tell y'all, this flesh is strong. This flesh is strong. And it's easy to get worked up in it and be carried away. By your flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God, my God, my God. So, beloved, and, and, and God must have 
taken me this direction because it must have needed to be said on tonight. And beloved, if you are out there or even if you in here and you need prayer, you need God, you, you need Jesus to help you from you. You reach out to this ministry. We will pray for you. We will pray with you and get the help that is needed for you to make a change. In your life. God don't want to see nobody. Pass to the wayside. He's given all of us opportunity. To get it right. And we ain't going to be perfect. But beloved. You got to get that heart right. You, you got to. Get, I tell, if you've not listened to the message that we preached this past Sunday. Please go back and listen to that word talking about your heart. That's what God judges. That's what he looks at, looks at. He ain't looking at what you do, what you say, because you wear big hats and you come to church, because you got a title, because you got this degree, you got this doctorate, you're a bishop. He ain't looking at none of that. When it's all, hallelujah, said and done. The Bible says he, he's searching the hearts of men and women. Glory God, hallelujah. So beloved, know that God loves you. He is going to keep you. He is going to provide for you. When that day of judgment comes, and let me tell you, beloved, you don't know when that day is coming. I mean, I believe Kobe Bryant gave us the, the best example of no man knows the day nor the hour. Just here in, in Raleigh, on one of the highways, a, a truck lost control and killed three Workers on the highway that was working on the highway. Three, gone. Just like that. You don't know the day nor the hour when your time on this earth is up. That's why, beloved, you don't have time to be playing around with this thing. God is not seeking perfection. But he wants to see progress. He wants to, to see that you trust him. That you love him. In your heart. That you're trying to make changes to be more like his son, Jesus. And allow the Holy Spirit to rest and rule in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, 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 I know that was for somebody tonight. And, 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 and just let me just, just say this. One thing that I know for sure is that when God called me, one thing that he knew is that he called a real man. And that he called a man that would stand for righteousness. A man that would speak boldly, hallelujah, the truth about the gospel of Jesus Christ. In love, hallelujah. So beloved, if you are struggling, if you are going through and you need to be loved, you, you, need, you need prayer, you need Jesus Christ in your life, 
you reach out to this ministry because we are here to make families great again. Hallelujah. And let me say this. I don't care what law is passed on this earth. If it don't line up with the law in this word, it don't make a difference what the government passes. If you want to see this God that we talk about, you got to fall in line with his word. We just learned yesterday that yesterday the law for lynching African Americans was just abolished yesterday. A law was in force till 2020 that African Americans could be lynched. And it was just abolished yesterday. So that lets you know right there how crazy this world is and the laws of the land are. Beloved, it's time to get things right. And guess what? Homosexuality, lesbian, all that, that may not be your thing. So, so don't get high on a horse because that ain't your thing. Let me tell you, everybody got something. Everybody got a thing. So, beloved, it is time out, as my, my, my mom's pastor, old pastor used to say, Pastor Baines. It is time out for playing church. And it's time to get right with Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, that thing then took, I ain't did. We're going we're gonna to do mercy next week. Well, next time we come for Bible study, because I, <laughs> okay. the Lord had me uh, right. just going. But beloved, this, this has to be addressed. And I tell you, a lot of pulpits, a lot of pulpits will not address it because they have a lot of these individuals that are in their congregation that are high tithers, that give a lot of money. And let me tell you this. I don't care if you are given this ministry $100,000 a month. Whatever, glory God, hallelujah, whatever is in this word is going to be preached and taught in love, but it's going to be preached. It's going to be given in love. Again, gays, lesbians, fornicators, Adulterers, gamblers, liars, thieves, whoremongers, heterosexual, bisexual, whatever you are, all everybody is welcome in this place. And guess what? We going to love you with the love of Jesus. At the same time, we going to deal with sin. Hallelujah. That is in your life, my life, Lady Monica life, and everybody else's life that come through this ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, beloved, we're going to come to a close. Um, I pray that something was said tonight. I know this was not a popular message, and I tell you, I did not have no note anywhere about that. But you know what the Holy Spirit just reminded me? When I prayed, I prayed and told God to take these notes away 
and put his notes up here, whatever he wanted me to say. Wasn't it in my prayer? My God, good God Almighty. So, beloved, know that God is love. Know that God is a forgiving God. That God is a God of mercy and grace. And beloved, we cannot forget that he's just. And he's righteous. And, and he doesn't go back on his word. If, if it's in his word, and, and he, he says that something is an abomination to him, he not going to go back on that and say, well, uh, since you, like my wife do, eh, eh, you know, no, God ain't going to do that. He stands on his word. Mm -hmm. And you will not make it into the kingdom of heaven. Living a life full of sin. It won't happen. He's going to love you. He'll even make ways for you. But you won't make it in. And I'm going to tell you, I want to do everything I can to make it in. Because there's only, it, it, there's no middle point. It ain't like, well, I was really good. I did a lot, but I didn't accept Jesus and I didn't stop my sin. So, I'll go just below heaven. I don't go to hell, but I don't go to heaven. I'll just stay in the middle. <laughs> Y'all pray for my wife. It is either hot or cold. Lukewarm, the Bible says he will spew you out of his mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if we could all stand. I know we didn't lost about <laughs> and you know I girl, I good God Almighty. If, if it ain't nothing but one or two, hallelujah, that come in the house. And that was the one or two that God assigned me to. And we will teach and preach just like it is thousands, hallelujah, watching and being in this place. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. Don't get me started on that. God, God, I ain't looking for no numbers. I'm looking for what God called me to do. Hallelujah. Girl, woo! Good God Almighty. Glory God. Glory God. So we just thank God for his presence tonight and for him sliding his notes in and giving the word that he wanted to go forth tonight. This is not our music. This is not our music. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If there be one tonight, turn a little bit more, babe. If there be one tonight where you are walking in sin and you know your life does not live up to what God wants for you in your life, and you are ready to make a conscious decision and say, Lord, I know I need help. And I know it may not be something that happens overnight, but Lord, I'm ready to take that first step and trust you and give you my heart as I give the pastor my hand. Would you come? Would you come and give your life to Jesus Christ tonight? If there be one. And if you're watching online, stand up. Stand up because God is watching. He sees you. He knows what you're going through. He knows the fight and the struggle that you're dealing with. Hallelujah. And, and there may be another where you say, Pastor, I'm saved, and I love the Lord, but I know that I've allowed myself, I've allowed this flesh, I've, I've allowed this world to infiltrate my mind. 
and it's gone down into my heart, my, my subconscious mind. And, and now I'm carrying out things, but tonight you woke me up. And, I, and I'm ready to come back to Jesus, for, for I know he still loves me. I, I know he still cares for me. I, I, I know that he went to the cross for what I'm going through right now. Would you come? Would you come and give your life back to Jesus? Hallelujah. And there may be another where you say, Pastor, I'm saying, I know the Lord. I'm not perfect. I fall, but I get back up. But you know what? You got to tell yourself. But I love what you and Lady Monica are doing. I love what you stand for. And I want to be a part of this ministry. I, I want to be in fellowship with this ministry. Because, Pastor, I have some gifts. That I want to give to the body and I want to be a part of this ministry. Would you come? Would you come? If you're online, reach out to us. We'll pray with you. We'll cry with you. You can send us an email. You can call us at our phone number right there on Facebook. May we all stand. Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, for having your way tonight. We thank you, God, for your truth. We thank you, God, for who you are and for what you stand for. We thank you, Lord, for, for loving us, for, for keeping us, for, for providing for us, Lord, for making ways out of nowhere. And we thank you, God, that, that you love the sinner, that you, you love those that are caught up in a lifestyle that does not line up with your word. You still love them. But Lord, they cannot make it in without giving that lifestyle to you. No matter what that lifestyle may be. Father, I ask that you touch each and every one that is under the sound of my voice, that your word would penetrate their hearts and minds, that, 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 that just in a, in a second they would just make a, a conscious decision to say yes to you. Cover them, Father, right now in the blood of Jesus. Keep them, Father. Use them for your glory even right now. Father, I'm looking forward to, to, to hearing the testimonies of those that have been touched and moved by this word that you brought forth. For God, we love you. We thank you. We thank you for loving us enough to give us truth. Thank you, Father. For God, you're worthy. We honor you and we thank you. For it is in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, that we pray. And everybody said, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, I know this wasn't popular tonight. But I had to say what thus saith the Lord, God Almighty. And if, I, and if I use that word in my life, then, beloved, I have to show you the same love that God showed me to deliver me from pornography. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, beloved, we will be here Sunday at 8.30 a.m. We ask that uh, you guys will come out, man. Come back. Join us Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. We are here for an hour at 3331 Blue Ridge Road. Hallelujah. Do you have anything, baby? Nothing? Oh, baby, so 
All right. So we thank God for uh, another Bible study. Um, we're going to continue uh, on mercy. Uh, ne not next Thursday. Next Thursday is couples retreat, but the Thursday after that. Maybe the Lord will allow me to get to get into mercy. So, anything? You sure? You don't want to? Okay. Father, we thank you, Lord, for another night. We thank you, God, for having your way. God, we ask that you would just continue to move, cover us, protect us, and keep us, Father. Bind us, Father, by the blood of Jesus. Keep us, Lord, in your word, your will, and your ways. For, Father, we acknowledge your presence, we acknowledge your love, and we thank you for your Holy Spirit. God, we honor you tonight, and we thank you. For it is in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, that we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Well, God bless you. We love you. And everybody here, I want to shake your hand and hug you before you head out this evening. God bless you guys. Love you. This is not our music. This is not our music. Hands up, hearts open wide.